right, it's June 3rd, 2023. My name is Timothy French, and today we're in Mecklenburg County, North Carolina. And we're going to take a ride on the McCauley Road Scenic Byway. It's a dirt one. Yeah, that's how all the roads used to look. They saved this one, thank goodness, right here in Huntersville, North Carolina. Yeah, a lot of people moving in here, so they need to save land like this. Anyway, we're going to take off on this one today. We're going to do it backwards. And when, uh, if you do it uh, from start to finish, you'll end up right where I'm at right now which is a beautiful little produce stand called Bradford store so we're gonna check it out and then we'll get on the road if you do the byway you're gonna come out right down the road there take a right and you'll come up here to the Bradford store pull in you're gonna see this beautiful produce store here got it all decorated up here and go in there and get your local fresh produce and shop local and they got a little cabin over there on the right too to look at so that's cool all these highways have got places like this to stop usually the scenic byways and they got the little butterfly highway right here i like this that's awesome butterfly highway so from the butterfly highway to the mcgauley scenic byway we go yeah this byway is going to offer us a glimpse into the 19th century yeah open farmlands and woodlands typical road back in the day unlike the one we're getting ready to pull out on to now this is highway 73 right here and it's busy tunnels is really getting congested these days and all these little roads like the one we're going to get to we're going to, well, most of them are gone now and it's luckily they saved this one they used to be everywhere and this road we're traveling on right now it used to be dirt so it's going to be interesting to see go from this highway right here to the dirt road which actually looks like a driveway when I came in from Davidson I actually passed it and that's how I found the little produce store right there and this is it coming up in these group of trees up here on the left they don't have any good signage here, and that's why I passed it. The Mill Bridge Byway had plenty of signs, so they need to get out here and work on this a bit. Let's turn in past these cars here. Get on the dirt road leading us into the past. You can see it kind of looks like a little driveway at first. And then it kind of widens out into some fields. Just a typical dirt road that I would see a good bit of when I was a kid in the 60s. Yeah families around us we go out and actually do Sunday drives that's the thing to do after church and after you ate you go out and do a Sunday drive friends of mine they own a little farm beside us and sometimes me and my mom and dad go and sometimes I go with them it's always a lot of fun so I'm probably the last generation to just remember people that was a, a time that would uh, where people would go out and just do a Sunday drive through the country like this and it was all country like this now but uh most of Beckleburg County looks like nothing like this now. Got a beautiful fence here on the right. Some kind of white house over there. I don't know if it's a house or a barn. Too far for me to see. Yeah. This is what they looked like. Man. You go out there on 73 near Huntersville now. I tear the road tracks. It's a far cry from how it used to be. Before they had gravel roads, it was actually a dirt road for sure. Yeah. They didn't put gravel on the roads until the car come along. So you come along in these old country back roads, you'd have found a horse and buggy and a lot of ruts in the road when it was muddy. An old barn right there. Been chopping some wood up there too, it looks like. Back then you had to chop your wood to heat your house. You did get a little cold in the winter. We've come a long ways and some things are better and some things are not. And losing little drives like this is not one of the better things, that's for sure. Well, looks like somebody's got their scenic trash out for us to view today, so that was nice. Yeah, people still live on this road. I tell you what, if you live on this road, you're one of the lucky ones. Because it's never going to change. They got about 700 and something acres they've saved in this area here. A lot of land for the other animals, deer and raccoon and 
whatever else is all up in there. Speaking of wildlife, there's a snake right there. Let's stop and see if we can get a look at him. See if I can get y'all off the windshield there. There we go. There he is. Uh oh, he said, leave me alone. I'm going now, I'm just trying to sun. All right, we're going. Have a good day, snake. Back on the road here. We can see a beautiful green field on the left. Woods on, I mean on the right. I gotta get my directions. Straight, that snake got me all turned around. Yeah, beautiful field on the right, woods on the left. The old black snake better be glad he was sunning out here on this dirt road because he'd been out there on 73, he wouldn't have made it. See, a lot of snakes killed these days, and I hate that. Black snakes do good for the environment, keep the rodents in check, and other things, I imagine. I gotta watch out for these low hanging limbs on some of these trees. These smaller rows like that will have the limbs hanging over. Yeah, I hit one up in Davidson. Let my antenna all the way around when I was doing that byway. You can see them hanging down here. So if you got an RV, mine's about 10 and a half. You gotta keep your eye open. Got a barn coming up. Looks like some horses back there. I don't know if they'll be able to see it or not, kind of back there in the back. I don't think we can be able to see them. Some donkeys back there too, it looked like. Yeah, they got a good life back here. Here comes that bridge the byway book talked about. Yeah, you find small bridges like this on back roads. I was traveling in New York about five years ago and there was still a road up there look like this and you get to the creek and you drove through the creek. I don't know how many of those are left down here in the Piedmont. There might be some up there in the mountains somewhere. If anybody knows, comment below and tell us about it. Got a single tree up here along this fence line. If they don't touch it, that's going to turn into a big old growth tree one day. Hang out over this road real pretty lot. We'll see. We'll see if some of you drive through years and years and years from now. Y'all look at this video and y'all tell me how big that tree is. Got a little marker here on the side of the road. Let's see what it says. Stuart Macaulay. I think I'm saying that name right. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, it talks about the wooden bridge, the open farmland, the woodland of animals. Basically repeating what we saw in the North Carolina Scenic Byway book. Yeah, these roads dominated Mecklenburg County. With wooden houses, barns, and other things for a long time. This was the early landscape, just like I said. Grow corn, beans, had livestock like we passed. But scenes like this are becoming a rarity in and around our big cities here in North Carolina. A lot of people moving here around Charlotte, Winston Salem, Greensboro, Raleigh, all those towns, cities are getting congested and you're losing a lot of this farmland to housing developments. It's going to change, that's for sure. I think the best thing we can do is just spread out. Honors was a nice place to live, but there's so many people here that uh, traffic is terrible now, at least to me. Maybe some of y'all are used to it. But it used to be a sleepy little town, and now it's really coming to its own. And it seems to be the hot spot for a lot of people, but we got a lot of great towns. And if you're moving here, check them all out. 
Well, looks like we're getting ready to come to the end of this road. We can't be much longer, what but a little piece of a ride, that's for sure. So I hope y'all enjoyed this scenic drive here in Huntersville, North Carolina. And if you did, I appreciate it. If you'd like, subscribe and share as always. Y'all take care.